Ooh. Hey, this looks nice. Hello everyone, Lord of Flames here. Welcome to Let's Play Ravenous Devils. And it's mostly a horror game of cooking. See what I get there? Cooking in a horror game. Never try any similar games in my whole life. I guess it's my first time. For then, let's play. I got a key thanks to the creators of this game who allowed me um, to play this game barely. And I'm recording this before it released. So let's just say you're watching a video that was been recorded like three or one week ago. It's like that. Just like the other videos you, um, you folks watch. Some of my old videos. It's like that. So, um, let's get on with the game. Ooh. Oh, we could pick days. I think this is mostly, um, a save file. Something like that. So we're going to day zero. I barely slept while we were on the train. My thoughts kept me awake with a burning fever to see our new home. My wife Hildred and I decided to move suddenly. She hurriedly packed our luggage, taking only what was strictly necessary. We cut a good deal buying this place near the river, which had previously been owned by a well-known barber in the town. This house is surprisingly large. There's enough space on the ground floor to turn it into a beautiful pub, while downstairs in the basement there's already a large cozy kitchen. I can't wait to get to know my new customers. I've always enjoyed watching people eating the meals I've cooked for them lovingly. My husband, Percival, has cleaned the first floor and set his room up for business. A fancy tailor shop. Oh, it won't be long before we see the women from the local district showing off the beautiful outfits he has made for them. We are going to bring home the gold with our business. You may wonder what the secret behind our success is. Our loyal clients, obviously. Fantastic people. Oh. I feel kind of sorry about killing them. We've decided to use an oh God. ingredient in our specialties. As a result of the insanely high meat prices. Due to sheer hunger, or simply because it tastes so delicious, human flesh is highly appreciated. We do not know the reason why, and we don't really care. Ah, uh, but don't worry. We don't waste anything. Even their clothes are cleverly reused by Percival. They just need a little patching up, and then they are ready for sale again. At full price, of course. <laughs> we are working so damn hard to do things right, and earn as much money as we can. Um, okay. So, this is mostly a cannibal game. We're running out of meat fast. The people in this town are likely hungry dogs. At least this means that moving here was the right choice. We'll get rich. We'll get rich, I mean. Not too fast, darling. We must keep a low profile and work hard. You know all too well no you won't. No, sorry. You know all too well how much we are risking. Yes, I know. You don't have to keep repeating that. Throw this corpse down into the kitchen. I'll take care of it. Alright. Let's grab this poor wretch. Sooner or later, I'm going to end up breaking my back. Yeah, because I have that problem too while bringing... Like, hurting my back while going to work. Now I need to throw the corpse through the trapdoor. It'll be in the kitchen in no time. Okay, so we'll throw it down here. So, okay, so we have like three floors. Where that's where... Oh no, no, it's four. Never mind. Oh, there's a body. Finally, fresh meat. Oh boy. Chapter is working brilliantly. It's time to stock up out on some minced meat. The new meat grinder is great for larger prey. Let's grab the corpse. Um, okay. Now it's time to grind. Wait, zero ten, so I need to get ten meats? Or what? Oh my god! Oh! 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 
I should take a look at my grandma's recipe book. I also be able to add all my future recipes to it. Okay, so where is it? Oh, I can do this. Ooh, interesting. Oh wait, what's over here? Wait, what? Fl flowers? Did I broke the game? How do you? Oh, okay, okay. I was stupid because knowing I'm using the G Force recording screen, then my webcam is blocking. The screen on the left corner, which I can't see, so I was pretty dumb. I was dumb. Sorry. Well, I need flour and minced meat to make a delicious meat pie. Delicious meat pie? I never had that. I can already smell it cooking. Okay. So let's put the meat over here and get the flour. But meat pie? Never had that. I don't know it's a thing, is it? All, all set for cooking. Let me take the tray. As fast as I can. All right, all right, as fast as you can. Take your time. It's already hot. Okay. It will be ready soon. By making some changes, I could cook faster. Or we could fix these other two ovens. Though we need more money for that. We'll work that out later. The meat pies are looking golden brown. Time to take them out. All right, that was quick. Take a look upstairs. The display stand is empty, so I'll place these meat pies on there. This way, customers will be able to serve themselves. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, okay, that's interesting. So there's mostly four floors, and that's where I am. All right, we're all set up. Okay, so we got six slices. All right, we're all set up. I wonder if my husband is ready too. He has to clean up that mess on the floor. Take a look, okay. It's a bloodbath. I have to clean this up. No one can come up here until there's no blood left on the floor. So I don't be a murderer to anyone. Something like that. Let's get the mop to clean it up. Alright, the mop. Yep. La -dee -dee. La -dee -da. Ooh, very nice. Very quick right there. I stole some clothes earlier. The display mannequin exposition isn't dressed. I could patch some some of the stolen clothes and resell them. At a steep price, of course. Waste not, what not. This may be humble shop, but I'm a professional. Really good, very really good for be a professional. Try not to get yourself caught by just just put ripped up clothes on the front side of the store. Back to business. Let's take a stolen cloth from that pile. Alright, because there's mostly three of them. Now it's time to give this new sewing machine a whirl. Alright. Alright. Knowing he is mostly professional, I really like it. It's not gonna it's not going very fast, but I can wait. Coordination and cooperation are the core of our business. I should adjust the timing of my work according to Hildred's needs. The clothes are finally ready. Okay, let's get the clothes and put them over here. And there's two. Everything seems to be set ready. Now we can welcome our customers. Open shop. I mean, does it look ready? Alright, let's give it a try. My dear customers, please, come inside so I can kill you and eat you up. <laughs> Take what you desire. It's lucky that I filled the display stand, otherwise they have been waiting while I was cooking. Ooh, and then there's our money. Now we got 14 bucks and 2 cents. Every meal has a different price. I cannot give it away for free, after all. I'll mark them differently from one another in Red's Peep Book. They will pay a lot for my delicious meals. Oh, it seems like someone is looking for a new outfit. You never know if your work and style will be appreciated by people. Always keep in mind to do the best job you can. We don't want bad reviews getting out. Oh, now we got 18. 
eighteen dollars and two cents. I need to take a client's measurements. Wait for the client to arrive. Okay, just wait. Oh, and what else? Wait, what am I? Um. Well. Oh, it is my uh. Am I going to do get up? Now we are alone, and I can provide Hildred with some more meat. Yeah, yeah, new clothes are good, but I'm gonna take those back because I'm gonna kill you. So, nah, there's nothing. And boom. I'll take the cleaned clothes. You won't be needing them anymore. Let's throw the corpse down to the kitchen. Okay. And there are the clothes. Now there's three of them. And put them back where they were. Well, mostly the body. Alright, very interesting. Because I don't know what I was doing. More clients are coming. We must be ready. Alright, uh... I always have to remind myself to clean up. I confident that Hildred is doing a great job coordinating his key. So what, I had to, um... Clean the characters up, trying to get themselves caught? Okay. Alright, let's get the clothes. Wait, complete objectives. Client is killed. Okay. Wait, well, am I supposed to clean first? Oh, wait, while that was doing, I'm going to clean up. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, blood clear. Good, 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 good. And let's grab you. I need my hands free before doing that. <coughs> Okay, I'll just put you back. Sorry, sorry. So you can't use both. <gasps> Hurry! It's really warm. Oh, get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Hurry! 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 <gasps> no! 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 Hurry! 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 Oh, 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 oh. I gotta hurry. Bring the body downstairs. Clean, clean the room, clean the room, clean the room. Like, what am I supposed to do? Move in there. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Please hurry, because I don't know if there was like a time or not, dude. Was there? I mean, there is these objectives, so I guess that's fine if you don't get yourself caught. All right. Uh oh. Uh. I need a cloth to dress the mannequin. Oh no! Hurry! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh, I forgot her. Oh no! Hurry! Hurry! Ah! Oh, or, or I'm losing customers. How am I being so dumb? Oh, grave there's Oh my god, the loading. Oh my god, the loading. Oh. Oh. Oh, I forgot the meat! Get the meat! Oh, why am I buzzing? Oh! No! Wait! As fast as I can. The flower! The flower! Go! Go! And him. Oh! Hurry! Oh, I'm being so dumb. No! I, I'm no worse. I'm being bad. I'm doing bad. Oh my god. Ah! Uh, well, there's no time for not. Oh! Need to kill this one right here. Get it! Get her! Come on! Get her! Get her! Okay. And bring you. Oh, 
Where you are, you please? The flower. As fast as I can. Get over there now. Oh. Okay. Ah. Uh, All right. Hurry! Get that. It's really warm. Whew. Got get the body. Go downstairs. And. Repeat, or not. I need three more. No, no wait. Yes, three. Ah! Oh, you hurry up! Moving. Ah, uh, this is so slow. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh no! He's right. Need the clothes. And you? No. Starting over is never easy. I hate starting over. There are a lot of improvements that need to be made. I wrote the list of things we need to do to improve our business. This way we will serve as many customers as possible with fancier shops. Let's see what we can improve. Upgrades. Ooh, upgrades. 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 Okay. Well, I need fasteners up first. Interesting. But I, n I don't need them. Okay, let's just put you- Oh, I forgot! Sorry! I'm sorry. And you... did you... This is a masterpiece. Alright, while that's cooking... Let's just... Mm. As fast as I can! Wait. Oh, that whole room is already covered. Like you go down here... And what happened? What? <sighs> okay. Okay. Hmm. Nothing's happening. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I supposed to open shops. Of course. How stupid am I? I only got five meat, and I put one run here. Use a looping flower. I'm glad it's loop because, oh my god, I don't know what happens if it, it's not loop for flowers. That you had to do that for shopping whatnot again. Okay. You know what, let's just open. I'm just losing my, losing insanity. And nothing's happening. Oh wait, there's someone. Okay, now we got 20. Good, good. And there's someone here to um buy some clothes or... And let's put you over here. Hurry, hurry. Oh yes, clothes. You and put you down here quickly. Forgot. Ah, I'm so slow. Oh, hurry, hurry. Oh, it's already empty. Oh no. As fast as I can. Hurry. And he's coming here. And let's get him. And put some flowers. Okay, okay. Yep, the body. Don't forget about the body. <gasps> oh. I should clean this. Hurry. <laughs> oh, hurry. 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 I forgot the phone! Oh no! <laughs> this simulator is kind of difficult than I expected. Hey guys, uh, no worries. I got food and I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh no. This is much more difficult than I ex- Oh no! It's already empty! <laughs> Last client. Tough. 
<laughs> I'm sure, er, sure even well-known people will visit our shops then. Okay. Oh, I only have 47. Okay, okay. That's good, that's good. But let's just upgrade a bit more. Let's upgrade a bit more. Come on. Oven speed. That's fine for now. Man, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. <laughs> no, I just wait. Yeah, yeah, as I know. As fast as I can. Let's just empty the bodies first, just in case, because if I get distracted by him doing, uh, empty, giving me all the bodies, I'm... Everywhere. Okay, okay. I can't believe you had to upgrade that you had to do all this, knowing it's their first time opening their, uh, their shop or not. All right, put you here. Now let's bring the food upstairs and whew. yeah, meat pie, meat pie. I'm making meat pie. We like some meat pie. I made it myself. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going a little bit too dark right there. Knowing this game is mostly dark. We're we're mostly the cannibals. Well. Maybe not. Well, yeah, it's because we do kill people, steal their food, steal their meat, and make them as food. All right, let's open. Wait, what? What was that? A letter just arrived. We moved here not long ago. No one should know us. Who may have sent this? Wait, Did what? You tell anyone about our departure? Silence. Let me read. Wait, what? Did I miss something? Oh no! <laughs> God, someone knows our secret. What does it say? Not good. Just frets. Apparently the sender knows us really well. Hmm, we have an admirer. We can't leave again. We spent everything we had on this building. I don't like this situation either. But I don't think he means trouble. Rather, he could be a rich client. He talks about reward. I wouldn't just trust that. We haven't much of a choice. So, what do we do? Now, nothing. We just play his game. You get back to us. If what's written in his letter is true, we would risk our lives by leaving. He seemed to be powerful men in this city. Well then, let's hope we'll get some money out of this. Never a dull day for us. I'll get back to work. Me too. Oh man, I screwed something up, did I? I missed something. Oh! 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 I missed this one! Oh man, my steam roads. I must admit that your arrival in this city has got me pretty excited and please I beg of you not to interpret these words as a threat but merely as a great opportunity I know what is going on at your shop I do often wonder how do you manage all of those corpses in any cases I decided to contact you to ask for a favor but before I do that I would like to assure you your secret is safe with me if you do what I am about to request I have been eating human flesh for a long time. I am sure you will not find what I say as shocking as others might. Though, you cannot even imagine how difficult it has been for me to get my fill. From now on, however, with you around, I trust things will be far as easier for me. I will give you a specific instructions for the prey that I would like to save her. After all, I will not just settle for average larger. Once the targets have been killed, you will pre prepare a delicious banquet for me. It will be perfect when your job is done. A life, a, la a life changing reward will await for you. I would like to suggest that you do not attempt to run away. I will be watching your every move and will know where you are at all times. Moreover, I suppose the local police force would greatly appreciate a tip-off regarding the unexplained disappearance in the town. 
I will send you details of the first target soon. Kind regards. Your new friend... J? K? J. This guy, something J. I don't know if I trust him, like if he actually is a cannibal or not. Or he's tricking us, saying that he is one. But I don't know if it's true. Alright. Let's open shop. Oh, man, I'm so terrifying right now. So someone is watching us. Or knows of us. I wonder how and why. Knowing it's supposed to be the disappearances. Where everybody had making rumors about this one place. Where people keep going and never came back. That's one thing. Ah! Uh oh. Hey, you can just stand right there while I kill you! But before I throw your body downstairs, I had to bring this cloth all the to the other side. And bring you downstairs. Hurry, 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 hurry. This is much difficult than I expected where I'm the one who's slow and these people are faster. Alright, clean up time! Make it food. Make it food. Okay, what else? What else? Oh yeah, the body. Need to be taking oh, over here. As fast as I can. Um okay there's Two, no, three, four. Oh my god. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Wait. Oh no. Hurry, 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 hurry. <laughs> I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. For a simulator game like this. Oh my god. Oh my god. I forgot you bodies. Blood everywhere. You go over here. And the body goes down here. <laughs> hey, honey, I got a body. Here you go. Clean up time. Oh, hurry, 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 hurry. Time to make another professional clothing. Waiting for this guy to leave. Hey, how you doing? Let me kill you. No, no, oh, baby. Oh my god. Oh, now there's you. Now it's going to get this thing. Oh my god. Hurry, man. Hurry. Oh my god. This is difficult than I expected. Again. Oh, don't worry, honey. I got the food. I'm quick doing fast as I can. Okay, tw I got 30. Only 36, okay. Check the mail. Nothing. Ah. Uh, knowing I try to make things faster, like, I do want to, um, have more for people to come in to get me more money. I had no choice, but I gotta go for mannequins. Alright. Let's yep, get rid of all the bodies. Make them as meat. Uh, have the husband. Making their f fancy clothes. Oh my god, I don't know if this reminds me of a machine for pigs from Amnesia. Where, um. <laughs> uh, what's his name? Mason? Something like that? The main character who becomes mostly a cannibal. Turns people into fresh. Turned into food. Meat, why not? That he is mostly a cannibal. Alright, that's enough food. Or not meat. For now. For now. Just saying. Just try to be prepared for anything worse. As fast as I can. Yep, yep, big yep, yep. Time. Big time. Yes. Big time. Okay, uh just wait for this one to finish. And after that, we'll open the shop. Again. Now let's do it. Let's see. Who's first? Who's first in line? Oh, I see someone. Okay. 
I didn't know! I didn't know! It's really warm. Oh my god, uh, how I didn't know that! Okay! Hurry! Okay. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. Just for now. Just for now. And... Two... Three. Three people... Oh! Yes! Come here, lady! I want to kill you! Take your clothes! Take the meat! Woohoo! I mean, sanity? I'm insane! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Double! Uh -oh. <clears throat> and... Wait for this one to get the last food. Last life, why not? Clean up time, clean up time. Alright. Oh, there's two more. There's two of them. I get this guy's going to die. Hello, let me kill you. Need to get rid of the body. I don't know what's that over there. Oh. Woo! Hurry, 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 hurry. <laughs> Another kill, another glorious kill. Hey, how you doing? Let me stop you. There we go. Much better. Hello, welcome to our food shop. How may I help you? Alright, bring over here. Let's put you over here. Uh oh, someone's ready to die? <laughs> I have a knife in my pocket. Here, let me help you with that. Uh, where is he? Oh, yeah. There's blood everywhere. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> uh, is that guy all right? Oh, need other food. Oh, oh, male. Dear Rhodes, Elliot Carson is, in, is your first target. He is a young and greatly committed businessman. It is impossible not to be thrilled by the stories of his travels. He wanders around the city in his free time, talking to everyone, even those filth-covered country louts. Okay, he has no objection to frequenting of even the most infamous establishment, as he believes that there is always something new to learn, even in such places. In my opinion, he is a disgustingly virtuous man. Anyway, all this work to our advantage, and in fact, it should not be too much of a challenge to lure him into your hovo. Sorry, no offense. I am sure you will have plenty of time to spruce the place up. Mr. Carsonus, a very charmistic person and an eloquent speaker. I have had the pleasure of having him as my guest at some of my most famous parties. He is a good looking man. You will recognize him for sure. His eyes are like two blue magnetic spheres that simply drive me crazy. And just the right size to eat in one bite. Kill him and preserve the body. I look forward to this immensely. Jay. One more pie. One more slice to get over there. And get one more clothes. Get over there. Wait a minute. She doesn't have a mop. Like nowhere to clean this whole area. If the guy... That was mentioned the males might come down here or something. I don't know. <sighs> Still haven't yet organized a room. Like, I do want to make things faster for once. Um, make things easy for me to get um, the workbench, the oven, everything all faster before the customers get get very fast to get all the stuff. Because I'm so slow. I'm really slow and I hate it. But the game is really good. As fast as I can. Now I just Cause it 
every simulator, every uh, every uh, simulator games always make you go faster, like Flash. Maybe not. I don't know, but still. And all right. Oh wait, let you uh, let just put you right here for now. Get one more body. Have it in. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. But jeez, where do all the bones go exactly? Like, seriously. Uh, everything's all prepared for now. So let's hope this whole shop opens better. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, there's someone. Good, 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 good. Good. Come here, little friend, so I can slice you up and take your flesh and have it in the oven. I can smell your greatest fear. Not going for Pennywise. Hey, let me stab you. Again, and again, and again. And put you over here. Still, I truly enjoy this game, knowing it makes you want to go faster as possible. That you're fear, you're afraid of something that you might go to lose as game as possible, but you don't want to lose. You don't want to. Oh, here's a, here comes the next kill. Hello. Hurry, 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 hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Clean up, clean up, everybody needs clean up, clean up. Alright, let's make our clothes. You make food? Sorry, I'm just losing, like, am I, do am I doing nothing or what? Right here, come on, come on, come on. There we go, much better. Phew. This is a masterpiece. Hey, how you doing? Ah Take that. And ah! Or not. Oh no, I forgot. There's no. a lot of it. No, 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 no. Phew! Moving there. And you get the clothes ready. Hurry, pro. You're supposed to be professional. Hurry! Oh! oh sorry, time's up. Uh oh. Um. Oops. There's two of them. Uh, so, this is the guy you mentioned in the mail. Okay. Okay. Good day, Mr. Perseva. I am Elliot Carson. Your shop is making the news in this city. People say that it's possible to find such high quality clothes elsewhere. Some aquaticists aquaticists of mine came by recently. To me that I should pay you a visit. I didn't know a tailor had opened here. The clothes on display look exquisite. But I suggest you clean this place a little. By the way, I'm going to commission a suit before I depart for my next trip. Nice to meet you, Mr. Carson. It would be my pleasure to, uh, to tailor something for you. What color of suit are you after? Is it for you or the boy? I will need to take measurements first. For me, of course. I need a durable suit for hunting. He's just my assistant. You may pretend as if he's not here. <gasps> How dare you! Kill him! Kill him now! And if he bothers you, I can kick him out. And am I, am I right, boy? I'm a brick wall, mister. Just the way I like it. 
Anyway, I'm just passing through to take a look at your humble shop. I'm leaving now as I have plans for today, Mr. Percival. But I will return again in the near future if you don't mind. Of course not. Feel free to come back whenever you like. Thank you for coming. See you again soon, Mr. Elliot. Much, ob much obliged. See you soon. Come on, you lovo. We're leaving. Say goodbye to Mr. Percival. Goodbye. Okay. Well, he's rude. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. He must be our target. The sender of these letters isn't joking. Next time, I will have some work to do. Alright. Only have pretty free dollars, but that ain't much. Actually, I like the music, after all. Like, knowing it does fit right to the right year, the timeline where it's taking place. I really like it. And it reminds me of this one musical movie back around the late 2000s. I forgot the name, but it probably by the same person, Tim Burton, I think? I mean, I think it is. Baking Almost reminds me of it, of the movie. Do you folks know this movie that I'm talking about? Please comment down. So what does that do? Yes! Yes! Okay, 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 that makes sense. Now, let's bring you up there. Okay, okay, that's really good. I didn't know that can be a thing. I mean, in, the, in real life, it does. If you're going to upgrade your looks of, this, of your own shop or something. Alright, that's really good. I like that idea now. I really like that. This upgrade is really good, really good. Even if it had to be so hard where you need to get more money to um, pay all of that, you know. Knowing I, ha I didn't upgrade his because I think that there's a mannequin over there that's not being used. So, I need to do something about that. Alright, let's open the shop. I don't know if there's like a schedule on where the characters are supposed to um, meet up or something. If I gotta do something important. Or it's just do it randomly. Or after this. Like, does it? I don't know. Alright, here's our customer. At least there's two. Which make things easy. Even get enough more money. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Come here. Come here. Come here. There you go. Much better. Oh! Phew. Alright, what did I miss? Nothing? Good. Alright, I'll be back if you stay right here. It's really warm. Alright. Come here. Come here. Come here. Alright, and let's get uh, another fashion fashionable clothes. Alright, come here. Because I don't know if there are any warnings or not saying like WARNING! There's a guy coming to the room. You got be got to uh, clean up before it happens, you know? Uh oh. oh Did I mess up? Oh no. And who's who's she? Good morning, Mr. Persififo. Something like that. I'm sorry. Sorry. Sorry if I get it wrong from the last night. Am I too early? The shop still seems to be closed. Good morning. Not at all, Lady Eliswin. 
pleased to come in. Were you in need of a new dress? Yes, I have an appointment. Please be my guest. Go in front of the mirror. I'll be right there in a moment. Um... <gasps> oh! Wait, it's clean? This must be the place. That trap door. Those clones. Oh my god, everything Jack told me was true. Should I tell him anything? I don't know how he'll react. I'm here for one reason. I won't mess this up. Oh! Here I am. Let's get to work. Um, I was thinking something delicate. Maybe in light blue tones. Is this dress for a special occasion? If you don't mind my asking. Uh, funeral? Well then, if I may offer my opinion, I'm not sure light blue is particularly suitable for a funeral. It won't matter. In fact, I don't think anyone will say anything to me. I will be the one laying in the coffin. What do you mean? I'm dying, and there's nothing that can be done. I'm already roaming this world like a ghost. I will kill myself, but I'm not brave enough to do such a thing. If only someone could free me from this burden. What? What? So I had to do it? It's asking to die without suffering too much. But maybe. Oh! Hi, I'm sorry, but I need to interrupt you, Percival. I have something to show you downstairs. I'm working, Hildred. Please, Percival. Uh, maybe it's better, uh, Hildred, maybe it's better for you to go back downstairs because if you had him following you downstairs, she will f try to solve everything and find the truth. You need to come with me. I'm sure you can set another appointment for the lady. You were just starting away. Starting anyway. Maybe it was a mistake coming here. I'm so sorry. I have to go now. Sorry for wasting your time. Oh, great. Hildred! Why? Was she alright? Did you traumatize her somehow? I haven't touched her. She said that she is dying of a disease. Poor soul. Anyway, what's so important? Let's go. I'll show you. What's so important? Something new? Something easy for me to do? Before opening the shop? Or what? So, do you like it? Oh wait, this? What? Don't you notice anything new? Mmm... No. Look up there. I put some flowers. Oh, I see. I decided to put some decorations in here. Oh, now I had to buy decorations! Great! Customers will appreciate it. Now they have something to look at while they lit while they wait. Do you like it? It's a good start. I mean, it's a good start. But you definitely need something more. Do you should seriously interrupt me for this? Yes, this is really important. We'll make customers happier. Fine. Go back to killing. Apparently, that's the only thing you enjoy. Not the only one. Oh, Cannibal couples. Alright, let's get back to work. So, that girl managed to get out of there. And she's dying of disease. Does, like, what happens? Like, I don't know if it's, it's just a theory. Uh, when you're diseased, does mean your flesh or your meat inside mostly was corrupted by the disease too? If you use it to make food and give it to them, does that mean that will suddenly get them disease? It's just a theory. I might be done. Just saying. Just saying. And... Needs one more. One more. One more. One more and that's it. And mostly going to upgrade as well. Yup, 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 yup. Pie or meatable? Okay. 
because I don't know what. Like, have you folks ever tried a meat pie before? Like, is it actually a real thing? Please let me know. All right, now we got decoratives. I think there's one right there. Probably some right here too. I think. Ah, of course. Excellent. Make things easy, I guess. I'm just checking before opening. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. All right, let's open. I'll just put you right here for now because I think I could put another body. Ooh, achievement! It's not that rusty. Ha! Good one. Hello, good sir. Let me take that. Thank you. I like the hat. Can I keep it? Alright, good, 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 good. Because I don't know if they even... Like, do these characters have any backstories? Do they have other friends who are actually cannibals too? Or no? Could they have friends to contact to help them out? Because that's one thing. They could contact... Like a few bit help, like have two more people um, doing the sewing machine and have some dumping the body and some of them outside and the other two will probably come down here to take care of the meat. That sort of thing. Because it will make things easy for these two. Let's clean this up first. Get in our clothes. I don't know what to say. I mean, I just focusing on on getting this ready. Okay, okay. Whew. All right. What's going on? Let's see what's new. Oh, hello, a kid. Help me, please. Have you seen my parents? My mother. My mother. I can't find my mother. What's wrong, little one? Um. My mom left yesterday because she needed to patch her coat. But she never came back. Hmm. My husband certainly didn't see her. Maybe something happened to her before she got here. These are strange times, my little boy. It's dangerous to be walking around the city alone. Now, come on. Get out of here. I need to open sh up shop soon. But madam... Please. I'm really hungry. Don't you have anything to give me? Alright. I think I have some leftovers. Well, there's a pie right here, so... Oh, okay. Thank you so much, madam. You're an angel. Goodbye. Bye-bye. And even today, I am sure of a place in heaven. <laughs> yeah, a heaven of murders. My dear colleagues, as I already mentioned in my previous letter, I have been observing your steps for a long time. And to be honest, you intrigued me, even before arriving here at Heather Blue Lake, when it comes to fru food. There is no place unknown to me. This is how I knew you had a little shop in the Mercy... Mercy side, where you made a lot of money. Unfortunately, something went wrong at some point along the way in the local comp competition accused of you of selling of a selling rat meat. Damaging your business reputation, I remember seeing the news on all the local papers and knew it would be a long before the offered offertories launch and investigation. Then suddenly a fire. I do wonder which one of you came up with that brilliant idea. Your previous shop turned to rumble. Nothing left beside ashes and two are recognizable corpses wearing the owner's clothes. They thought you were dead, but I suppose by the time all this happened, you had already boarded your train brilliant. I must confess I almost fell for it too. Wait. Their previous shop. And they faked their deaths. By burning the fake corpses of them. 
and burn their own first shop to get out there. Okay, I mean, that's kind of brilliant, but knowing there's more disappearances going on over here at your shop, and you're gonna do it again. Later, a mysterious couple, priding themselves on offering the best meat pies in town, opened up a new shop in Southfolk. Many of my friends have said that you could even enjoy the pleasant company of the landlady, a beautiful woman. It could all have been just one big coincidence. Two different couples in two different places, and there would have been nothing odd about anything of it. But something did not quite add up to me. My suspicions were confirmed when the shop in Southfolk closed down. You were spotted in, spotted leaving in a hurry with very little luggage. Did someone uncover your secret? And here we are now at Heather Blue Lake. The same story, a foraging couple cooking delicious food. I did my research in an attempt to see things crystal clear once and for all. And as I observed you, I was not surprised to notice that not all of the customers who enter your shop also left. I do not blame you for your practices. After all, it is hard to find high quality meat these days. Hey, I'm trying my best. just trying to do everything right like what am I supposed to do like um, add more things or more food or upgrade the speed of of my workbench my oven whatnot like come on who I don't know who's the J like if is he actually a cannibal or something or he's the investigator tricking us because we don't know if we trust him no. all right Finally, we managed to fix the table. Now it's ready for our clients to use. I will write down their orders. Oh! Orders! And serve them freshly baked food. Great, now I... I what the... Wait, wait, wait. Um... Wait, it, I... I open... What? Wait, what? They now cook what they desire. Let's find out what they want to eat. Okay, um. It's a great choice. They, That's delicious. Oh! They want a hamburger. I have minced meat ready in the kitchen. They'll love it. Let's get cooking. I just need some minced meat. Okay, I do have meat, so that's fine, but the other ingredients have a problem. Because I didn't buy them. Because I was focusing on trying to upgrade the others to uh, get things fast enough before the customers get everything. Okay. Oh man, I'm losing it. All right. One hamburger meat coming up. Oh my god. That smells so. They must be hungry. Let's put the meal on the client's table. All right. As fast as I can. Oh. Oh man. How long is this video right now? Huh. Enjoy your meal. Perfect. From now on, I should prioritize the clients at the table. Maybe keeping some meals ready on the workbench will help me. There is work to do. Will fed clients mean more meat in the future? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Hooray! Okay. Wait, do they pay me? Cause did they actually pay me because I... I didn't check. I didn't know this or something, you know? So nothing? What? Fine. Alright, this time we'll have meat instead of pies. Well, one pie and the other is meat. Or hamburger meat. Alright? 
This is difficult than I expected. Did I make a mistake? Okay, it's coming right up. Just put you Close over here. There's blood everywhere. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry. Oh, yeah. Why are you so slow? Come on, come on. As fast as I can. Get! Yeah, you while you having split run. You need to run. Here you go. And don't ever come back, or I'll kill you. Oh my God, this is more difficult than I expected. Okay. That's it. Seriously. Fine. As fast as I can. Duh! Oh my god. Oh. Come on, give me more time. You guys are going too fast, seriously. Give me more time, damn it. Movie. I don't like this. Not the game, but it's customers. I don't like them. There, here's your stupid meat. Your stupid buggers. Is it before it gets cold? Maybe this time I won't add more tables. <sighs> Guess it gets annoying of how many customers I deal with. Did they? They didn't pay me, did they? No, they didn't. Oh, what now? It's about time. I'm going inside. You wait for me here. Don't try to run away. People are disappearing in this neighborhood. If I were you, I wouldn't stray too far. All right, Mr. Elliot. I'll wait right here for you. I don't know. I try to get the act, try to get the voice rights for these characters, but it's not really good. But I try. Welcome back, Mr. Elliot. I'll be waiting for you. I'm sure I can kill you. Hello, Percival. Please take your place in front of the mirror. I like I like people who don't waste my time. I'm leaving in a few days, my friend. This time I'm heading to a dangerous place for a wild beast. I will need my best rifle. They could pounce on me before I even notice. Raveners and wonderful creatures. I prefer them hanging over my fireplace, though. I'm sure you understand my meaning, Percival. Yes, yes, I understand. I always used to hunt for a living, but I don't like rifles. I prefer to wait for my prey to fall into my traps, like flies in a spider web, and then stop them to death. I would have never guessed. I thought you have always worked as a tailor. This is something I, that I would usually keep to myself. Though it seems secrets don't remain such for long in the city. By the way, maybe you happen to know someone who goes by the moniker of Mr. J. Since you are such a well-known figure in town, that's an obvious question. My reputation repre precedes me wherever I go. 
Of course, I know someone whose name start with a J. But the list would run many pages. Think about it. Someone who hates you. Or who don't get along with. I beloved person, Percival. You are bothering me with this story. Might someone want you dead for any reason? Enough of this nonsense. It was a mistake to come to this dump. As always, good manners get you nowhere. Luckily, I find you as annoying as hell. Uh oh. Hurry, 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 get him! Cover his mouth before he screams or yelling. Or you do that. Oh my. Uh, make sure he's dead. He was really getting on my nerves. We shouldn't have come here. This so-called Mr. J better have a good reward for us. Now I need to find a place to hide this bastard's corpse. A cold one. A cold one? This is the coldest room in the house. Uh, about that, there's a window on the left. And there will be people looking up or if they down, if they're inside their own house, they'll look. And what do you see? A hanging man! Stupid! Stupid! The flesh will be better preserved here. So, and now I can use this room, or no? What are you doing here? Um, good morning, sir. Sorry to bother you. Do you happen to know where Mr. Elliot has gone? He told me to wait outside. But I went inside the pub downstairs for a moment. There was a great smell coming from there. And I was rather hungry. Then the good lady gave me a pie. It was really delicious. But I don't have any money on me. So, um... I was looking for Mr. Elliot, but I can't find him here. Has he left the shop already? Yes, several minutes ago. Oh, really? Did he mention anything about where he was going? I can't pay for the pie otherwise. He didn't tell me anything. I'm sure he will come back to, to get you, kid. And don't worry about the pie. Let's just say it's on the house this time. Oh, thank you, mister. You're such a kind man. I don't think Mr. Ailey is coming back, though. He's probably angry because I'm disobeying him. He bought me, and I can't be replaced any time. Well then, find yourself another job. You won't last long with, uh, without any money in this city. Not everyone is as generous as I am. Can I help here? I'm a fast learner. I'll think about it, kid. I'll get back to you. Thank you very much. Almost reminds me of that one movie again. Hildred may need a little help in the pub. Hmm. Interesting. We're having another person to help. Interesting. Actually, I like that idea. Even what I said last time <laughs> that they need more help to make things easy for them. And let's hope let's hope the kid didn't um come down here or up here. Cause this will be difficult. I would like to have a pie. A pumpkin, a pumpkin pie. Because pumpkin pies are my most favorite. My most favorite pie with a pumpkin pie. Ready to eat. Much better with it. Alright, so I only have 49 bucks and 6 cents. That means I... I can. Does that mean I had to pay the kid as well? Oh my god. Like, I would just start over and just have like two of these and... No tables, and probably two of these, just in case. I don't know. Just saying, try to find a way to make things easy. How you doing up there, Elliot? How's the hanging? That was a bad joke. Alright, let's go to the upgrades. No mills. 70? To get him? Oh my god. 
I hope you enjoyed this folks, if you want more, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to see more. And developer of this game, I really enjoyed this. If you want me to make a part 2, please comment down below. This is Lord of Flames here, I'll see you guys next time. Bye folks, have a wonderful day.